Hey guys, today we are going to look at special products of binomials. We're going to answer the question, what are special products of polynomials and what are their patterns? So with these special products, it is still just a product. It's just a special product. So since it's a product, box method or FOIL will still work when we're multiplying these binomial times a binomial or these patterns will work as well. So you might be like, why are we looking at these patterns? These are not much easier. The box method and FOIL are easier. I agree with you. So you can still use box and FOIL method. However, later on in Algebra 1, when we get to something called factoring and then also completing the square, it is helpful to be able to recognize these patterns. So we're just going to start looking at them today. But if you don't have them mastered by the end of today, that is OK. You can still use box or FOIL method. We just want to recognize that these patterns are there so that future concepts will make more sense. So let's look at the first one, square of a sum. So this is when we have something added, the sum, and then it's squared. And remember that really means a plus b times a plus b. So what we're going to do is number one, we are going to solve this with the box. Or if you want to do foil, that's fine. We're going to solve it like we are used to. This really means x plus 5 times x plus 5. So I'm going to draw my box. And I'm going to do x plus 5 times x plus 5. And x times x is x squared. x times 5 is 5x. Five, 5 times x is 5x. And then 5 times 5 is 25. And then when I combine like terms, I get x squared plus 10x plus 25. So let's look at this pattern. I originally had x plus 5 squared. So x squared was this first term squared. 5 squared is 25 squared. And then this middle term was 2 times x times 5. Let's take a closer look at that. This is 2 times the first term, which was x, times the second term, which was 5. And this was the first term squared, and that was the second term squared. So that is the pattern of square of a sum. Let's see if we can use this pattern to multiply number 2. So what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to do the first term squared, so 3x squared, plus 2 times the first times the second. So 2 times 3x times 4, plus the last term squared. And now I'm just going to multiply these things out. So 3x squared, I have to distribute that to the 3 and the x, so it'll be 9x squared. And then 2 times 3x is 6x, and 6x times 4 is 24x. And then the last term is 4 squared, so 16. So you can use this pattern if you recognize that there is a square of a sum, just like we did here. We can also still just use the box. So I'm just going to use the box on number 3. And I have 8c, 3d, 8c, and 3d. 8c times 8c is 64c squared. 8c times 3d is 24d. 3, oh, 24cd. 3d times 8c is also 24cd. And then 3d times 3d is 9d squared. So in the box, you can see that two of the first term times the second term. It's right here. We did the first term times the second term for both of these, and there's two of them. So I get 64c squared plus 48cd plus 9d squared. Okay, that is square of a sum. Let's look at square of a difference. So this is just when we have a binomial with subtraction and we are squaring it. So let's go ahead and do the box with this first one and see if we can recognize the pattern and maybe how it differs from square of a sum. 
So I have x minus 3, x minus 3. So x times x is x squared, so it looks like I'm still going to have the first term squared. x times negative 3 is negative 3x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And then negative 3 times negative 3 is 9. And then I just combine these like terms and I get x squared minus 6x plus 9. So let's look at this pattern. I do notice that I have a subtraction which probably comes from the subtraction in that square root difference problem. But it looks like other than that subtraction sign, the pattern is the same. I have the first term squared. My first term was x, so that first term is x squared. And then the middle term, it's subtraction, but it's two times the first term, which was x times the second term, which was negative three, which is where that subtraction comes from. Two times x times negative three is negative six x. And then this last one is just the last term squared and negative three squared is positive nine. So pretty much the same pattern. We just end up with a negative sign for that middle term. So let's use the pattern to multiply number five. I'm gonna do the first term squared. This is A and B. So the first term squared would be six P squared and then plus two times the first term is 6p times the second term is negative two. And then we will do the last term, which is negative two squared. And now we just simplify. So 6p squared is going to be 36p squared. And then two times 6p is 12p and 12p times negative two is negative 24p. And then the last term is negative two squared, so positive four. So there is using the square of a difference pattern, but we can still just use the box, which I'm gonna do on number six. Seven x minus one, seven x minus one. So seven x times seven x is 49 x squared. Seven x times negative one is negative seven x. Negative one times seven x is negative seven x as well. And then negative one times negative one is positive one. And I just combine my like terms. So my final answer is 49 x squared minus 14 x plus one. So there is square of a sum and square of a difference, which are pretty similar. Now we're gonna look at the product of a sum and difference. So this is when you have the same first term and the same second term, just one of the binomials has a plus and one of them has a minus. So let's go ahead and do the box and see if we can observe what happens. I have x minus two and x plus two. So x times x is x squared. X times two is two x. Negative two times x is negative two x. And negative two times two is negative four. And then I combine like terms and look at what happens. Negative two x plus two x zeroes out. So my final answer is just x squared minus four. So product of a sum and difference, you end up with just the first term squared minus the second term squared. So I do think this is an instance where if you can recognize this pattern, then there's gonna be a lot less work because we don't have to worry about that middle term at all because we know it's gonna zero out. So let's go ahead and use this pattern to simplify number eight. So a is three x and b is five and we know that we're gonna get a squared minus b squared since this is the product of a sum and difference. So it'll be three x squared minus five squared. Three x squared is nine x squared and then five is 25. So if you want to use that pattern again on this last one, you can. I'm just going to use the box though. 
and we get 4c negative 7d and 4c and 7d. So 4c times 4c is 16c squared. 4c times 7d is 28cd. Negative 7d times 4c is negative 28cd. And negative 7d times 7d is negative 49d squared. And my middle terms are going to simplify out, so my final answer is 16c squared minus 49d squared. So there are three special products of binomials. The square of a sum and square of a difference, that pattern is a little bit hard to recognize. Honestly, I'd probably just use box or foil for that. But the product of a sum and difference, that is a pretty easy pattern and you will see that pop back up whenever we are doing something called factoring. So for this one, I might skip the box and just use the pattern. So now what we're gonna do on these last few is we are going to determine the pattern and then we are going to multiply the uh, binomials with the pattern. So this first one, I have the square of a, or product of a sum and difference. Which means I'm going to end up with this product, the first term squared minus the second term squared. So the first term is x, so I'm gonna do x squared, and the second term in each group is 10. So x squared minus 10 squared will be x squared minus 100. All right, this next one is the square of a difference. If I did not have the pattern up here, I would just use the box or foil since the pattern is a little bit difficult to memorize, but I'm gonna go ahead and use the pattern this time because that's what the instruction said. A squared minus two AB plus B squared. So we will do the first term squared minus two AB plus B squared. So I have to do the first term squared, so two fifths Y squared minus two times the first, which is two fifths y, times the second, which is four, plus four squared. So two fifths squared is going to end up being four over 25 y squared. We have to distribute that squared to everything, including the denominator of the fraction. And then let me figure out the coefficient here. Two times two fifths is four fifths, and then four fifths times four is 16 fifths. So that's going to end up being minus 16 fifths y, and then plus four squared is 16. Okay, this next one is square of a sum. So you could use box, you could use foil. I'm going to use the pattern, which is the first term squared plus two times the first times the second plus the second term squared. So there's the first term, there's the second term. So I will do a squared plus two times the first term, which was a times the second term, which was five B plus the second term squared. So it'll be a squared plus two times a times five b is 10 a b plus five b squared is 25 b squared. Okay, and then last one, I have two x minus three y, and then that is supposed to be two x plus three y. So, with that typo fix, this is a product of a sum and difference. Which is the easier pattern? It's just the first term squared minus the second term squared because we saw how the middle terms simplify out. So we're gonna be left with two X squared minus three Y 
squared, which simplifies to 4x squared minus 9y squared.